I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And uh, we're going to have a special message today about God's little flock. So if you have a friend that maybe is uh, lonely or down, uh, feeling blue or discouraged, uh, this will be a great sermon to hear because it talks about God's little flock and how he helps us and carries us and keeps us all through life. We're reading from Luke chapter 12 today, beginning with the 22nd verse. So if you have your Bibles, you can turn to that. I know some of you gather, you, some of you folks get all dressed up and you sit right there and you have your Bibles and you sing with us and uh, read the scriptures with us and that's just wonderful. Luke chapter 12 and verse 22. And then in our prayer, we're going to pray for the brothers and sisters uh, who are suffering and being martyred in Morocco. And every month, every week, we pray for uh, <clears throat> Christian brothers and sisters in some part of the world that are suffering. So today it'll be Morocco. But first of all, look at these verses where Jesus said, He said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life what ye shall eat, neither for the body what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? And which of you by taking thought can add to his stature one cubit? If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not, they spin not. And yet I say unto you that Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothed the grass which is, in the, uh, is to the day in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? And seek not that what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, Neither be ye doubtful mind, for all these things do the Gentiles, the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you today that we can be a part of that little flock. And that doesn't mean that we won't have troubles and trials because we will. You've told us that not to be discouraged because in this world you're going to have tribulation. And dear Lord, you surely had tribulations and trials. And if you as our master can do it, we will be glad to do it also. And so help us in the good times and the hard times to love you and trust you and to know that we are a part of that flock. And Lord, there may be some, I know there are many that are watching right now, and they're, they're not a part of that flock. They've never received you into their heart, into their life. And I'm praying, that we're praying here in the Christian worship hour, that the wonderful Holy Spirit will speak to them and help them to know that you love them and you will receive them no matter what their sins might be that you receive them and they can become a part of that little flock and that you'll bless and help them in life and in death. And Lord, we just want to pray especially for our brothers and sisters in Morocco. And we know that they're undergoing hard times and some of them are giving their lives. And Lord, for those who gave their lives, that will be the greatest blessing that can ever happen to them because they're in your presence and we thank you for that. But we pray for those left behind, the widows and the children. Some of the children are orphans. And the older people, Lord, that have struggles and trials. And just help them to lean on you and never give up, but to just trust in the dear Lord Jesus. Now in this service, help us to keep our eyes on you and help us draw strength from your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.